Well, they are cranking away back there. Yes, they are busy bees today. What do you think so far? It's impressive. It's crazy because, like, I'm trying to film everything. There's so much going on. There's there so so far. Here's what we got. So they got everything mapped out. They got they are starting to, to figure out where everything's going to be mounted, where the batteries are going to go. Yeah. Um, they just installed the soft starts on the air conditioners, <laughs> and they're running uh, the wire chases for the wiring. For yeah. the control panel. For the control panel inside the rig. Inside the rig yeah. And um, man. And they're testing in that room, they're testing the panels. The solar panels. Yes. Which are massive. Taller than you. Taller than me. I wasn't expecting that. I knew they were big, but I didn't know they were that big. Yeah, when you see them on my like, drone footage and stuff, it's yeah. like, oh, look at these cute little panels all over the rig. Standing next to those suckers, I was like, oh, yeah. holy God. They're like, this if it wide. fell and like hit, smashed you, You'd be like Wiley e. Coyote. It would yeah. just wham, you just find you right down. It would cover your hole, but you wouldn't even know Leslie no, was under there. Visit. Yeah. Those things are impressive, way bigger in person. Well, not only that is impressive, but just the work that they're doing and the amount of time that they're doing it in and teaching at teaching. the same time, it is really impressive. And I think we got a good group. Yeah. Of students. Well, they got two Wagsters in there, so well, yeah. it's extra special. And they they all kind of seem like they know what they're doing. Yes. So, and they're very passionate about. Yeah. And really friendly. We've been having lots of conversations yeah. with everybody in the class and, and having a really good time mm -hmm. learning about them and, and their travels and exchanging stories. It's really cool. So yeah. let's get back to it. Okay. All right. We're going outside. We're going to check and see what's going on out here. They're, they're all in here measuring and looking. It looks like they're doing some very technical shit. I don't know what they're doing. I go to the other side. Oh, they're doing work in there too. And we got work going on on this side too. <laughs> this is the crew right here, man. They're getting it all done. So what they're doing now is they're removing this generator box that we were talking about that we asked them to take out because it just kills a bunch of that space and we're never going to have an onboard generator. We have the aftermarket one, so... This, this dude is all the way in there. <laughs> Holy crap. I don't know if he's going to be able to get back out. He's not. He's coming with you. <laughs> I think you just live there now, man. Generator prep package, 100 bucks. Anyone want one? Yeah. <laughs> I go to Scout. We're riding the lift up. Check out what they're doing topside. I'm up on the roof now. We got uh, we got one solar panel on. We're starting to work on the rest. They got it wired up to the junction box. Is right here, getting ready for the wiring. There's going to be another panel here, I think, and I think there's going to be one here and then one back there. So, uh, and actually, they got that one brought up, and they they're bringing up another one here in a minute. So, um, yeah, looking forward to uh, to what it's going to look like. It's going to be cool. All right, these guys are over here working on wiring off of the production line over here. Very technical stuff. <laughs> stuff that I would not ever be able to do. But it looks like they're doing a great job at it. <laughs> Let me just run you through what all they did today because I probably missed talking about a little bit of it. They, um, they removed that generator box and then they removed all of the hardware that was in there, the foam that was in there and cleaned it all out for us. And then they, um, they measured everything off and taped everything off so that we would know where each component is going to be in the basement. They installed the batteries and then you can see they put the little metal bracket in there to hold it. And then the um, inverters, chargers, uh, they prepped all the wiring. Um, so this stuff's not all, all ready and set to go. They have to measure out the wiring, they have to cut the wiring, they have to crimp the wiring. And um, I think they do. They did a lot of the negative today. They'll do some of the positive tomorrow. They prepped all the solar panels. Um, so they put the feet on it, and then they put some shims on some of the sides of the, of the solar panels because the, the roof is curved and the solar panels are flat. So as you're mounting it, you can't just mount it that way because then it's going to be you're going to you're going to bow your solar panel or it's or it's going to rock or it's just going to be janky so they measured all that out made sure it was good they installed um soft start capacitors on all three of the air conditioners that's going to help with the efficiency now alliance does run air conditioners that draw less power than most air conditioners so we can already run uh two air conditioners on 30 amp service 
but for the system that we're getting, uh, they wanted to install the soft start capacitor, so we did that too. So they worked on our system today for about three and a half hours, and I don't know how many people are in the class. It's probably about 20, 25-ish, somewhere in there, but um, they all did a great job, and we got to hang out with a bunch of them today and get to know them. So we got a great crew working on the setup, and I can't wait until tomorrow. Hey, let's make our own little, uh, let's make our own little private video. Okay. I'll be the RV tech, and you could be the uh, lonely RV owner that needs a little work done on your undercarriage. <laughs> Huh? In your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I need your certification. I guess I'll go work on my own undercarriage then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to do some ducking. And if you don't know what ducking is, it's, it's kind of like the Jeep thing, I guess. Yeah. But it's, it's Alliance. Alliance yeah. has their own ducks. They have their own brand of ducks. And it's, uh, we hashtag Ally Duck Drop when we drop ducks on allies rigs and so we are going out on a covert operation middle of the night it's it's about, almost 12 30 it's yeah. almost 12 30 in the morning <laughs> and we're gonna go there's four alliance four rvs rigs. in the park so we have some allies out here yeah. and we and, and a couple of them were in the course so yeah. we're gonna go drop some ducks but you gotta be in the middle of the night you gotta be covert man you don't want to get busted yeah i don't want to do it during the day and they see me coming up i wanted to be discreet yeah so. <laughs> Walking through the middle of the NRVTA in the middle of the night to go do a duck drop <laughs> out in the RV park. <laughs> quack, quack. <laughs> quack, quack, mother... No. <laughs> right, duck drop number one. Leslie's on the move. The eagle has landed and Leslie's on her way back. Duck drop number one. <laughs> <laughs> duck drop number two. Um, I think there's like a dog fence. Plus you gotta find a way around. Plus I think she just dropped it inside the fence. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they have a fence? They have a dog Ooh. fence. Oh man. <laughs> I couldn't get in. <laughs> Alright, here she goes. Duck drop number three. She's on the move. I don't know if she's moving so fast because she's cold or because she's scared. <laughs> she's doing a great job. <laughs> this is fun. Oh, this one's this one's crazy because it's at a dead end, and Leslie has to run around there. And then we, so they're like, they know like they can hear our truck, and they're like, what are these people doing? Sitting outside of our rig, the only people that are belong down this dead end thing is us and people that we know, and we're not expecting anyone at 12:30 at night. That's scary. <laughs> Cause they got lights all up the front, so it's like. <laughs> oh man, that was fun, huh? <laughs> that was fun. That was cool. I wonder if we're like gonna show up on anybody's like ring cam or something. <laughs> You know, like they got an alert, and then you'll just see you'll like see Leslie just tomorrow. streaking in and streaking out. You know, <laughs> that was fun. Though. But you had your hoodie on, so I don't know if they even be able to identify you. Maybe. I don't yeah. know. Well, maybe they'll find out when the video comes out. Just couldn't do it during the day because some of the people had cars there, so yeah. showing that they were home. And I was like, I know if I saw somebody walking up to my door and then <laughs> running away. I'd be suspicious. I didn't want to do that. Well, and if there's anything like me, I'm like, I, you know, I get a little, I get a little nervous when people start running around the rig. Yeah, like, what's yeah. this crazy person doing out of my rig? Hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.